Yes, so here the problem is a is some integer greater than 1 and you have then the GCD of a power m minus 1 and a power n minus 1 that is equal to a power of GCD mm. of m comma n minus 1. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if, uh, so let us see. A, a, mm. So if m is equal to n, so m and n are equal, then it is uh, obvious, right? So if m is equal to n, then what do we have? The left hand side is nothing but uh, both of the quantities are same, right? A power m minus 1 also. Mm. Right? So since uh, this is a power m minus 1, right? Because m and n are same. It's same. Right? Ah, uh, 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 why a uh, grid? Uh, okay, okay, okay. A grid, uh, grid is yeah, okay. No, a and n are same. I'm saying that a and n are equal. And the right hand side, uh, it is uh, a GCD of m comma n minus one, but that is also a power of m minus one because mm. right. So in this case, they are both equal. Now let us consider that other case. So. So suppose a is strictly greater than n, then what happens, right? Mm. So this implies I can use the division algorithm, right? So m I can write it as q n plus r uh, yeah. with uh, zero with the remainder is strictly less than n that I can write. Mm. Now uh, a power of m minus one. So this I can replace a to the power q n plus r minus 1. Mm. Okay. So yeah, if I mm, it's okay. mm. uh, so if I add and subtract a power r right. so then what I can do is I take a power r common from the first term q n minus 1 plus a power of minus one right mm -hmm. now this a power of uh, q n minus one i can further factorize so that is a power of r a power of n minus one times q minus one plus a plus one okay why why uh, uh, QN minus one, yeah. Um, power R uh, minus one, yeah. Uh, the last step was yes. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. You, ah, uh, you, you, ah, uh, uh, okay. Yes, we factorize that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the full of, uh, I uh, I n minus one yeah okay yeah okay. mm. so then what you can do so the thing is uh, uh, since uh, r is strictly less than n uh, we have that a power of uh, r minus one so that is strictly less than a power of n minus one right. Just uh, why a power a power q n minus one yes equal to a power n minus one multiply a q minus one okay this is from uh, the the uh, formula uh, a power n minus one is it right yes yes we can uh, divide q q and n I please remind uh, the formula of I, I. Yes, yes. So I, that one is. N minus one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So this one is the formula. So a power of n minus one. So this is a minus one. Then a power of n minus one, a power of n minus two. Mm -hmm. This is the formula. Hmm. But uh, here we have a power n minus one. 
Yes. The, the, okay. the last step. The last step. Yes, yes. So I think this is the conclusion. So let us use something else. So, so suppose this is M. N M. We can divide each line. Right. Uh, no, no, no. We have uh, the last uh, step. We have a power n. Right, right, right. So a power n. n. No, no. A. I am. Uh, so this part we are not further factorizing. We are just factorizing this part. Uh, but where where the a n minus one? Yes. Okay. So this is coming from here, right? So here is. Uh, one minute. Let me explain. So okay. So this is the thing. N is there. Okay. So let me tell you. So this is a power of q n, right? Hmm. So this I am considering a power of n whole power of q. Like this I am considering, right? Uh, so now ah uh, ah uh, 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 yeah 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 it's okay. Uh, okay. So this this is uh, so this part is my new mm -hmm. variable. Ah uh, okay 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 <laughs> okay yeah 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 okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Right. So uh, now the thing is uh, ah okay okay we have uh, the 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 net we have uh, n ah okay ah okay okay but it I I I don't see the oh, n okay 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 hmm. yes so now the thing is uh, so here what we get is uh, this is uh, strictly less than uh, this a power uh, r minus 1, so this is strictly less than a power n minus 1 because r is strictly less than n. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we can continue. So by Euclidean algorithm, we can continue this process uh, and we will arrive at the GC. Right? So, so in this way, we can so uh, so this GCD has to be uh, the GCD of uh, M and N, right? Because uh, that is how we are introducing this R. So this will only terminate at the GCD of M and N, right? Right. And the next step, it was. Yes, yeah. still. No, Nadia, yeah, I'm saying just uh, we can uh, continue uh, this process. Okay. Which process and how we can continue? No, no. The thing is, uh, here uh, is the Euclidean algorithm we are applying. Right? Mm. Mm. Ah, ah. We have, uh, you know, with the right. in, uh, a minute in. In uh, oh, here we have a uh, power n minus one. Yeah, let then a power. Uh, it's okay in uh, right. We uh, oh, we mean uh, we suppose again. Yes, yes, we again uh, do. So this is the Euclidean algorithm actually, right? So this is our element, this is the multiple, and this is the remaining part is the divisor, and this is the remainder. So next step we'll go. We'll divide uh, this uh, by uh, we'll divide this a power of n, n minus one by a power of r minus one, right? And we'll continue the step. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. And we'll iter iterate the same process, and we'll end up. With the GCD of uh, M and N. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, so next we'll start the next chapter.